Good evening, wrestling fans. Welcome to Friday Night Chaos right here on WNDS. I'm Rich Palladino, and we're coming to you tonight from the Knights of Columbus Hall in Lawrence, Massachusetts. Milo Masterson's around here. Oh, yeah, I, my. I got, I got. Sorry. Yeah, don't. Okay. Uh, what? What is. You don't look as good as me, do you? Are you kidding me? No. I went to Rodeo Drive again, and I got myself a really good one. Uh, I ain't doing this. Right, Red, Red shirt. Bye-bye. Right. I just, uh, 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 this is Friday. Friday Night Chaos, she lies. I'm Rich Paladino, and I don't have any pants on. <laughs> Rich, Rich, come back. Come back. <laughs> Welcome to Friday Night Chaos, right here on WNDS TV 50, the winds of New England. Rich Palladino at ringside with, of course, Milo Masterson. That's right, baby, I'm right here. Opening contest here in Lawrence, Massachusetts. Jimmy Jack Cash, of course, with that piece of garbage, Skunk O'Malley, against Babyface Vince Vitala. Now, why do they call it Babyface? Unbelievable. Oh, unbelievable. Babyface Vince Vicalo still in contention for that light heavyweight title. Jimmy Jack Cash, of course, the pride and joy of Staten Island, New York. Just blew off his manager on the high five. Well, what would you do? I wouldn't touch this guy. I wouldn't either. Mm -mm. Unbelievable. Well, he's pat getting pat down here. Well, they're used to that New York City getting you know, patted down like that. So. Very true. Very true. Referee is senior official Rich Lannon. And baby face, ready to up the corner. Let's get that bell going. Oh, that stinking union bell ringer. Gosh, unbelievable. That's all right. The action's underway, and Vicalo starts with a slap to the face on Jimmy Cash. Oh, 
That's a drop toe hold by Vitalo. Another one for good measure. And Cash back up, swings wildly, and Vitalo retaliates with a series of fists to the side of the head. Off the ropes comes Babyface. Reversal, looks like he's going for a backslide. He could have him. Two count. Two count. Look at the skunk dancing at ringside. That's just disgusting. He needs, uh, he needs to get some new moves. I'm not sure. What, what does he call that? It looks like uh, Cash was going for a military press. A go-behind by Vicalo. Reversed by Cash. Backs Vicalo into the ropes. Vicalo holds on. Cash rolls out of it. Baseball slide underneath. Boot to the midsection. Right into a side headlock. It's been all babyface at this point. The babyface. Very popular babyface with Vicalo. With who? All the fans here in Chaotic Wrestling. Well, he's not real popular with me yet. And he likes to party. He does. He does. Where does he party? Well, we can't really go into exactly where. We don't want the fans flocking to hang out with Babyface now. Gotcha. You know, we've got to keep his uh, privacy to himself. You know? Those 13-year-old girls, they can't get out night late anyhow. There's a shoulder block up and over. Goes Cash. Leapfrog by Vicalo. Right into the oh. hip toss. Great extension on the hip toss. Arm drag. Takedown. And Vicalo. Another boot to the midsection. Gut wrench by Vicalo, takes him over. Oh, and Cash landed on that shoulder. And you can see him favoring it right there. Oh, that'll tear up a rotator cuff. Drop kick, and Cash goes up over the top rope into the waiting arms of the skunk. I don't think it was really waiting arms there. I think, I don't know, maybe we could like throw like, like, you know, Gino on him or something. What's up with Gino, by the way? Gino, we all saw uh, just two weeks ago right here on TV that brutal parking lot attack by your friends the one night stand he had it coming he obviously did something he wasn't supposed to be doing oh look at that now if you could get gino to land on the skunk like that we'd have roadkill by Calo with the pescado over the top rope takes cash down to the floor gino martino will be sidelined for a couple of months with <laughs> and what's so funny about that oh, i thought of a joke i heard earlier Sorry. oh and cash just hit the ring post and now by Calo going to work on the skunk and that disgusting jacket. Where do you get a jacket like that? You've got some horrible clothes in your wardrobe. But look Excuse me. My jacket from Rodeo Drive, California. My brand new patriotic shirt done in Paris, France. Uh, a lot of artists there in Paris. Actually, it was only Paris, France. Paris, Illinois. But that's okay. It's still Paris. Very proud of you and your wardrobe. Thank you. Oh. And Vicalo just took out the skunk again. Not a good night for Skunk O'Malley. Skunk O'Malley's not having a good night at all. And what is his deal? He's looking for a tag team to win the tag titles. Yet now he's got Cash going solo. I mean, what are his goals? I mean, this, this guy, this guy, where he's going with his career here. I think he's leading his men down the wrong path, if you know what I'm saying. Well, none of them have won anything, have they? Uh, not under even his, a match. Under his expert tutelage. Oh! Cash goes off the ropes. Big leg drop right across the throat. This is it. Hooks the leg. And three. Ah. Very arrogant cover. Well, the first Lannan was paying attention. He's a little slow to get there, but I still want to have been a full three. Count. Senior official Rich Lannan. Yeah, senior official Rich Lannan. I'm not really impressed with any of the referees so far. Well, me, they're not here to impress you, Milo. They should be. Suplex. <laughs> I think Cash had a few extra donuts, and they had trouble getting up on that one. And he just laid the boot into Vicalo. Great match between these two. Oh, that's a field goal right there. It's good. Adam Vinatieri. Does he still play for the Patriots? I believe he is. Okay. Bolo like forearm rocks the jar of Vicalo as he's backed into the corner. Cash whips him to the opposite side. And once again into the other side. What a suplex. Forget about it. I'm impressed with Jimmy Jack Cash in this match. Uh, Only a two count. Of course, Cash uh, also currently teaming with Scarecrow, also under the tutelage of Skunk O'Malley. Tonight, Jimmy going at it on his own against the babyface. And there's Skunk, that walking advertisement for birth control, working over by Cal on the ropes. <laughs> referee, I mean, this is why I think sometimes you need to have two referees. 
One on the floor to watch the managers and one in the ring. Richard, this is not tennis. It's not badminton. We need one good, solid ref in there. We need any line judges or anything. And Cash with the leg drop to the back of the head on Vicalo, snapping his throat upon the middle rope. Now making his way back into the ring. And there's a jawbreaker by Jimmy Cash. He's got by Callow rocking and reeling. He's got to go for a pin if he thinks he's going to win this match. Put that boot right under the throat. The referee forcing the break. Smart, smart though by Jimmy Cash. Got to cut out the oxygen a little bit to that baby face fellow. By Callow walks the rope up and over into the Hurricane Rana. Dumps Cash right on his head. How do you spell her in Karana? It's not important right now. Cash I'm just, I'm just, drops the elbow across the chest, goes for the pin. I'm writing a book, Richard, and I just need to know how that's spelled. You're going to work on that with me. My you. notes are in the locker room. I'll get them to you later. Okay. Now Cash following up. Looks like he's going for a military press slam. Oh. He's got him way up high. Impressive. Oh, and he dropped him down with his head almost in another jawbreaker-type fashion. Oh, this is uh, Uncle O'Malley distracted by distracting referee Rich Lannon, and he's just hurting his One, man. Two, eight, 17. Cash would have had the pin there, but his manager screwed it up for him. Unbelievable. Uncle O'Malley, you stinking rotten piece of garbage. Now Cash letting him know about it by Callow from behind, ducks the clothesline. There's the oh. super kick. This could do it right here. Goes for the pin. Only a count of two. By Callow, that's his finisher, that super kick, and I thought he had the match right there. Now, uh-oh, gut wrench from behind. Bridges up on the suplex by Callow's shoulders down to the mat. Just another two count. Nice suplex by Cash, could not get the job done. Who do you think's winning? Very evenly contested battle right here, Milo. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. As Vicalo gets himself back to his feet, there's a boot to the midsection by Cash. Whips Vicalo into the corner. There's a boot to the midsection by Cash. Waist lock. What's he? Wow! My God! Reverse neck breaker. Forget about it. On Saturday, September 29th, Boston Harley-Davidson Buell presents the first ever Wrestle and Ride Day featuring a live show by Chaotic Wrestling. Come to Boston Harley-Davidson Buell on Route 16 in Everett for a day of music, games, autographed food, and a live show by Chaotic Wrestling. The action starts at noon and admission is free. For more information, check out chaoticwrestling.com. It's Wrestle and Ride Day at Boston Harley-Davidson Buell on Saturday, September 29th. Let the chaos begin. Introducing first the challenger to be led down the aisle by his manager, Short Slim Simpson. From Los Angeles, California, weighing 270 pounds, Big Mike Scott.
first title defense against the very popular Big Mike Stud. He's a fighting champion, ladies and gentlemen. He's not running away from anybody. He's got the biggest guy right now, or just about the biggest guy in the chaotic roster, wouldn't you say? Some six foot five, 270 pounds of Big Mike Stud. Oh, you mean he's not fighting short sleeve Samson? No, my man. Oh, Ooh, he's really brave. Now, this should be interesting with Master Sandy as she makes her way out of the ring in Ronnie's corner. I love Master Sandy. And short sleeve Samson, of course, managing Big Mike Stud. Stud going solo tonight, not in tag team competition with his usual tag team partner, Big Rick Fuller. Tonight, it's one-on-one. -on -one. He finally gets a shot at the heavyweight championship. He, ba he backs down to no man. Look at that, because I know, I know that for a fact. So it's, a, it's a rumor going around, and I can't confirm or deny it, that Sandy and I are, you know, together. You're kidding me. No, no, there's a rumor. Let me call her over here, maybe Sandy. Now, just you be quiet, Richard, right now, and just study the match. That's what you're here for. Study the match? That's what you need to do. Okay. I've done my whole match. You sure? I've only been in this business for like nine years, so. Body slam by Big Mike Stud. You Big always stud, yeah. learn, Milo. You? you always learn. You, you can never learn enough about professional wrestling. Remember that. Okay. And someday, you will get to call your very own move someday. I can call. I'll call move right now. He hit him. <laughs> I'm a genius. Twice. Don't steal my thunder, Richard. Oh, I'm sorry. Ronnie taking off the ropes, and he holds on to the ropes. And there's a big clothesline by Stud, and Ronnie just hit the floor on the opposite side of the ring, right near the ring barrier. Might have struck his head. If I was Stud, I'd get out there and follow up on the man. Don't let him take advantage of the referee's 10 count. He, well, how long has Stud been around? Stud's been wrestling professionally for about two, two and a half years. There you go. Ronnie's been wrestling professionally, what, 20, 25 years? Uh, about 15, 16 years. Oh, it's a long time. So there you go. Maybe he could use your expert tutelage. Uh-oh, he's not going out. He's, gonna he's bring got him Ronnie in. by the hair. And he's going to bring him in the ring the hard way. He's got a handful of the champion's hair. Shoulder blocked by Ronnie. Up and over with the sunset flip. Uh -oh. Stud drops down. Reversal by Ronnie. Another two count by referee Mike Crockett. And the clothesline just stops Stud dead in his tracks. Let the big man down. Ronnie Delicious winning that heavyweight title from Gino Martino. Right in the same building, right here in Lawrence, Massachusetts, ending Gino's second title reign. Absolutely. Now, now, what kind of shampoo do you think that Ronnie Delicious uses? He's got that beat all tattoo look, I think. Who cares, Milo? Well, because Big Stud Daddy picked him up by his hair, and I know something came out, so he's got some pretty strong roots, don't you think? The, the, the hairdressing part oh. of professional wrestling, that's your business. All right, well, okay, well, I'll, 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 I'll get back to you on that, Richard. Boot to the midsection by Ronnie Delicious as he sets Stud up for the big hip toss off the ropes. He's got Stud staggered. Ronnie's and now, very pleased with himself. Again, Ronnie should be Ronnie Delicious should be following up on his challenger. Don't you critique Ronnie too much. And he comes off the top rope. Another sunset flip. Shoulders are down. Only a two count. Only a two count. Unbelievable. As he goes to the eyes of Big Stud Daddy. That was my nickname in high school. I keep reminding you. Sure it was. Big Milo Stud Daddy. Milo Stud Daddy. Did I tell you I've confiscated a copy of your high school yearbook? What? Richard? Confiscated? You well, mean, not oh. confiscated. I know somebody went to high school with you. I'm going to bring that book to one of the shows. Uh, why? Right, well, we don't know. Oh, look at that. Master Sandy. Interfering. He's not interfering. Interfering. He's choking helping. Stud on the ropes. Helping. The Ronnie Delicious win. <laughs> She's got no business choking the man outside the ring. Let's bring her over here and get her opinion on it if you're such a, such a, want to get involved in it. Delicious now choking Stud himself over the top rope. Again, having some words for the fans. Well, they stand. Give Stud a chance to retaliate. Oh, and he just cut him off again. These fans said they need to have more respect for our champion. Ronnie sent off the ropes. Ducks the clothesline, again ducks the back elbow, up and over goes Ronnie, thinks he's smart and catches the clothesline. You got caught with that one. Hooks the leg, two count, we almost had a new champion right there, that my That wasn't love. even close, Richard, don't you start making me nervous now. Fist to the face by 
Big Mike Stud as he whips Delicious off the ropes again. Catches him with a sidewalk slam. Ronnie's down on the mat. Two count once again. Two count. Big Mike Stud's got two, two counts on the champion. But he has not had a three count yet. That's what we're looking for here, Richard. Don't start. Don't start aggravating me. Big Mike Stud might have hurt his hand on that punch to the count of Sicily. Another one to the top of the head, and Ronnie's backed in the corner. I don't like the way you say count of Sicily. Well, that's you know, a self-proclaimed count of Have Sicily. Have respect, please. As Stud just drops, oh, dropped Ronnie on that top rope and just hit him with a chop to the chest. Flip the count. Oh. Three times. And Ronnie stunned on that top rope. Fist to the head, another one. And Ronnie goes up top. What's he gonna do? Flips over, lands on his feet. Very nice. Incredible nice. agility oh. by the champion. Just got hit with another one of those big stiff clotheslines from Mike Stud. Two count once again. Short sleeve Samson at ringside to keep an eye on Master Sandy. That's my job. Goes downstairs, cinches him up, got that leg hooked. What a suplex. Oh, this could be it, Richard. A combination suplex neck breaker gets another two count for the challenger. And the momentum definitely on the side of the challenger right now. Ronnie Delicious, the heavyweight champion. His first title defense has been a tough one here against the six foot five, 270 pound Big Mike Stunt. Fist to the head by Stud, a series of them. Three of them rocks the champion as Ronnie's back to the ropes, brought back in another punch. Finally, Ronnie hits the canvas. His legs just buckled on that one, Richard. This is not good for the champion. Master Sandy needs to do something to kind of spur her man on. Oh no, Ronnie knew what to do. He went right to the eyes and then a knee to the midsection. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's the way you gotta be. He's a fighting champion. And everybody's gunning for the champion here in Chaotic Wrestling. Big events coming up in the upcoming months throughout New England. We will be debuting in the state of Maine in November, Milo. Maine? And all of the competitors here in Chaotic Wrestling will be looking for a shot at Ronnie Delicious. One name I have heard that has contacted Chaotic Wrestling looking for a shot at Ronnie D is the former World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental Champion, Tito Santana. Who? Tito Santana, a former tag team He's champion. He's a Taco Bell guy, isn't he? Forget about it, but fans, Tito Santana will be coming to Chaotic Wrestling very soon. I'd like those burritos, please. Uh, Milo. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to learn to respect these athletes. I have yeah, for Sandy, and Ronnie, and right. Ecstasy, and Aaron. That's about it. I have a lot of respect for other people, too. Stud whipped into the opposite corner. Ronnie charges and misses. And he crushes himself over that middle rope. Stud now grabs him by the back of the hair, drops the elbow down. Ronnie's tied up in the ropes, can't get the pin, no. Do they have electricity in Maine? I, up there? I believe they do. I only hope we'll bring some generators. Have our head of production guy uh, bring some generators in case. I'm not sure if they Now look at Ronnie as he does that. Walks the ropes with his hands and into a head scissor takedown. The agility of Ronnie Delicious and that drop kick. I've said it before, it's textbook the way he throws that drop kick. Ow! Reverse spinning neck breaker on stud. But again, I question the champion. Should be going for the pin right now. He's a champion. This is how he wrestles, Richard. Don't critique too much. Look at this. Here comes the pin. No. Nope. He's taking his time. This could haunt him. This could haunt him. Oh. Leg drop across the throat. Unbelievable. Again, arguing with the fans at ringside. Not concentrating on the challenger. He's got stud where he wants him. He could finish him off right here. Ronnie now looking to the crowd, not quite sure what he's going to do as he drops another leg to the back of the head this time. Studs down. He's got to make a comeback. 
because that shot at the heavyweight title is quickly slipping away. What's he doing now, Richard? He's signaling. He wants to do it again. Oh! And short sleeve, I think, just tripped Ronnie. Now that is outrageous. Well, why not? Sandy's already interfered in this match. Now, that's where I got a problem with you, Richard. It, it, when Sandy does it, you get all upset. When he does it, well, you know, he's a cute little guy running around doing things like that. And it's a foot race around the ring as Ronnie chases short sleeve back into the ring. We'll never catch him. And short sleeve goes out the other side. Oh, There's oh a big God. boot. Oh, this no. is going to do it. Oh, and what is she doing up on the She's apron? She's doing her job, Richard. It's hit for ten at this point. Stud's got the man pinned for a six or seven count. Did you see what Short Sleeve did? He knocked down Master Sandy. She's not happy. Stud Great goes for the pin. Oh, he was robbed. He had the champion pinned. Unbelievable. And while this was all going on, Richard, Master Sandy just chased Short Sleeve Samson right out into the back room. They went back in the locker room. Where? What's going on? That's not the biggest locker room in Chaotic right now. I think we have to get ourselves a new midget because when she gets a hold of him, he's done. Stud charges after Ronnie, hits that big clothesline. I'm concerned about the welfare of Short Sleeve Samson as he was just chased to the back. Oh. That's the Sicilian spike. That's it. One, two. Oh, That's he got it. him. Tonight's Boston Harley Davidson Buell presents the first ever Wrestle and Ride Day featuring a live show by Chaotic Wrestling. Come to Boston Harley Davidson Buell on Route 16 in Everett for a day of music, games, autographed food, and a live show by Chaotic Wrestling. The action starts at noon and admission is free. For more information, check out Chaotic Well, I'm in a kickboxing class, and it's definitely giving me more energy in class, and it's helped because